Hey guys, my name is Ambika and you are here with me on Unacademy's YouTube channel which is Let's Crack CBSE with us. So guys, first of all, let me tell you that you are here on nation's best learning platform and there are certain features of this particular app which I wanted to tell each one of you about. So first of all, let me give you a very clear idea about our plus subscription. Once you will going to enroll yourself with an academy, you need to opt either for plus or for our uh, Hi Nidhi, good evening and either for plus or for iconic. So let me give you a very fair idea that how plus subscription works and what are the very amazing features of plus. At the first place, you can learn at the comfort of your own house. You don't need to travel. You don't need to hop from one place to the other coaching center. You can instead invest their time in learning, right? So the, you know, the expense of traveling, the time wastage will be managed here when you will going to learn from the comfort of your house. Next thing is unlimited access to all your courses. So once you have enrolled yourself to an academy, you can check out n number of courses which are right there for you. Next, next thing is the teachers. The educators right here, they are so prolific. They are so amazing. They are like, you know, demigods. They are like superheroes who are very, 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 very amazing and who have got the superpowers to deliver, you know, the knowledge in a very appropriate manner. And these educators will surely going to help you out in understanding of the topic. And these educators will going to cover all the courses which is being given by CBSC. Every corner, every part of it will be covered by these educators. Next thing is that regular doubt clearing sessions are also there for you. Life test series is as well mentioned there and all the study material will be provided to you in the format of the PDF. Yeah, next is answer writing sessions are also there and specifically with English. Hi, entrepreneur. I'm so sorry, just a second. Yeah, and specifically with English, we need some sort of guidance, right? So herein we have got the answer writing sessions as well. Next is mentorship and guidance. So these all are there with your plus subscription, right? Next is a different subscription platform, which is your iconic. Iconic is amazing. It is iconic in every way, right? Here in you will, it actually redefines the whole concept of learning and teaching. The first very amazing feature of iconic is that you will going to be taught by the personal mentors. So you can have your own personal mentors, right? And they will going to help you out in the understanding of the topic. Next is we will going to have loud live doubt solving sessions. Another important thing is herein we will going to provide you a very detailed information about your performance. Like how many classes you have attended, how you have performed in those tests and quizzes. So weekly reports will be provided to you. Next is Parent Connect. So if your parents want to discuss about your performance, they can do with us. And that this feature is only and only available with Iconic subscription. Next is Study Planner. So Study Tracker Plan, like how you have, like what you have covered, how your studies is going, you know, what a particular topic needs more attention. So Study Planner is also right there. And whatever were the benefits of Plus, they are already present in your Iconic. Next thing is we have got different batches for different streams. So you whichever stream suits for you, whichever stream you are part of, you can enroll yourself to that. Next important thing is we have got the NCRT batches as well. These batches will going to cover only and only content of your NCRT book, right? Whatever is there in your NCRT. So that part will be covered in these batches itself. Clear? Herein, the lectures will be there in Hindi and in English. If you are comfortable in Hindi, so you can attend those classes in that particular language. If you are comfortable with English, you can attend that particular subject, that particular topic in that specific field, right, in English. So choice is totally yours because we don't want to create an environment wherein one language is superior than the other. Rather, we want to, hi Ankit, rather we want to create a world wherein Learning is more important. Language should not be a barrier there. 
right another important feature is that we have a creative corner so as you already know that cbsc wants all of us you know like how uh, as a human being we should act we sh we are supposed to be good with every other field just not academics but we need to be hi sujal so we need to be amazing with almost every other field as well right so therein we have got creative corner wherein math vedic math doodling doodling is you know free uh, hand sketching public speaking origami origami is you know how you can uh, you know with the usage of papers how you can frame out different things you know it is something more of um, your uh, things related to craft magic tricks hi somya magic tricks magic okay poetry storytelling robotics mnemonics mnemonics are you know ways the tricks which will help you going to out that how you can remember things you know how you can frame a short form of it and you can use that and next thing is debating and these all will be covered by the creative experts so this is something which is really amazing right and next is so whichever thing is fine with you whichever subscription is fine with you you need to use that either it is plus or iconic the amazing part of iconic is that the features of plus is already there so you can use which one is comfortable with you and for that you can use my code which is ambika to get a 10% of your discount right another thing is how you can download this app it's very easy how we download our games right so in the same fashion you can do that go to your play store type an academy learning app this is how it will going to look like and you need to download this next questions arises at what time the classes are being scheduled and that information will be provided to you on our telegram app and the name of that channel is quest 11 cbse science so you can check it out there as well again you can use my code to get a 10% discount on your subscription and which is ambika so guys do use this code yeah so let's start with today's session so first of all let me tell you uh, guys that i have come up with a series on summaries of the chapters right here in i will simply going to cover up the summaries of the chapters because we have done we have checked out line by line i have explained the chapter line by line to all of you now it's time to quickly check out the summary and along with that we will going to cover the ncert questions once that is being done the next agenda is i will going to ask certain questions to you and which you need to answer so first of all let's simply check out the characters because uh, uh, here in okay before that let me give you a summary of this chapter give me a minute <clears throat> okay here it is discovering tut the saga continues is a chapter which gives us in depth insight of tutankhamun the last ruler of the powerful pharaoh dynasty in egypt so this whole chapter gives us a very clear idea about the last ruler of egypt of pharaoh dynasty who is a pharaoh that is a king and what was the name of that last ruler that was tutankhamun he was a teenager when he died and his death was a mystery so when he lost his life when he died he was simply a teenager and everybody made their own assumptions about his death because nobody had a very clear idea that what was the reason behind his death it was actually a mystery it was something which is a puzzle for all of them some speculated speculated means they made their own wild guesses that he was murdered so some thought that he was murdered he ruled in egypt and its empire for centuries and this ruler tutankhamun who was simply a teenager himself that ruled uh, the whole egypt imagine the whole egypt uh, and uh, for like almost centuries and not obviously he can't rule for a century but his own dynasty in 1922 his tomb was discovered by harvard carter अगेन गाइज बहुत ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम यहाँ पे स्टार्ट होता है दैट नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी टू में क्या हुआ था और हार्वर्ड कार्टर ने क्या किया था सो इट्स वेरी इजी हार्वर्ड कार्टर एक्चुअली डिस्कवर्ड हिस्स टू इन दर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी टू एंड हुआ ब्रिटिश आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट कौन होते हैं 
चीजें यू नो दे डिग आउट थिंग्स फ्रॉम द सॉइल एंड अगर उसमें से कुछ यू नो इफ दे फाइंड आउट थिंग्स राइट दे चेक इट आउट सो दे आर बेसिकली द साइंटिस्ट हु डील्स विद द आर्केक थिंग्स आफ्टर एटी ईयर्स नाउ वंस 1992 1922 में हार्वर्ड कार्टर ने फर्स्ट टाइम ये टूम ढूंढा था ऑफ टटन खामुन राइट उसके एग्जैक्टली एटी इयर्स बाद ही वॉज टेकन फ्रॉम हिज रेस्टिंग प्लेस रेस्टिंग प्लेस मीन्स वो जो टूम था जिसमें ही वॉज बींग बर्ड वहां से ही वॉज टेकन आउट फॉर द सी टी स्कैन विच ऑफर्स टू सॉल्व द मिस्ट्री ऑफ हिज लाइफ एंड डेथ बाई क्रिएटिंग अ फॉरेंसिक रिकंस्ट्रक्शन so now they decided that uh, they will going to uh, check out the reason they will going to find out the reason that why he was being killed so first of all tut ki body ko dhoonda gaya in 1922 uske exactly 80 years baad uski body ka ct scan hua just to find out the reason like what exactly happened with his uh, with him when he was alive Tut's father or grandfather Amenhotep III was a very powerful pharaoh. Again, the meaning of the word pharaoh is a king. So, whosoever that was, either the father or the grandfather, Amenhotep, that was a powerful ruler who ruled over a period of forty years. So, this particular ruler, Amenhotep III, he ruled for forty long years. His son, Amenhotep. four or this particular son he okay you all know about the history of mughals right how we got um, humayun say we have got akbar like uh, not exactly humayun say akbar that but from where that mughals uh, you know they have ruled so then we have got the whole lineage you know right but the most i mean every mughal maybe was fine some way or the other but the last one aurangzeb has actually killed the family name of moguls right because he actually kept his own father in prison right and he was the reason for lots and lots of disaster in india he was the reason why there was a downfall of mughal empire right so in the same way agar hum wahi cheez ko yahan pe relate kare so you know abhi tak ye jo pharaoh dynasty it was ruling all over the egypt but one son hi shilpa ma'am uh and uh, yes so that is one son you know and whose name was amenhotep 4 he thrived him and began the strangest period in the history of egypt so this particular character amenhotep who was let just considered as the aurangzeb you know he killed the whole beautiful history of egypt and he actually acted like satan he actually acted like an evil person for the egypt he promoted the worship of aten the sun disk and this man he actually started worshiping the sun god he changed his name to ekhenaton meaning servant of the atens or isne in fact he simply did not even you know he did not destroy it he does not uh, destroy the whole uh, process of worshiping rather he changed his name also and now he kept his own name as ekhenaton and ekhenaton ekhen ekhenaton ka matlab kya hota hai servant of atens and who is atens here that is the sun he also moved the religious capital from thebes to the new city of ekhenaton called now which is called as amarna now thebes is children considered as a place wherein we have got lots and lots of churches right thebes is one such place which is called as um, i mean which is called as a religious spot but now this character this ekhenaton he actually moved his capital from uh, this from thebes to now us time pe usne us city ko kya naam diya ekhenaton apne khud ke naam pe he uh, named a new capital and that new capital in present 21st century is called as amarna are we sorted till now any doubts till now further he attacked amun a god smashed his images and closed his temples hi sakshi yeah so further what did he do he actually uh, you know he smashed away he distorted he smashed away all the other idols all the other images of the other gods right another mysterious ruler succeeded him after uh, you know he died so once he has lost his uh, own life another another ruler ruled there and he did not rule for a very long time though 
Next, Tutankhamun, also known as Tut, sat on the throne and ruled for nine long years. So now this teenager comes into a picture whose name was Tutankhamun, and this teenager, although simply ruled for nine long years, but then he lost his life, and nobody knows what exactly happened to him. He worshipped God Amun in the <clears throat> old ways. So now, when Amenhotep was there, he started worshipping Aten, right? Usne puri ke puri capital change karwa diya Egypt ka, right? And in fact, he demolished the uh, the temples of the city as well. But jab Tut also, when Tut came back to the throne, when he was being declared as the king, as a new ruler, so now he started the whole format, the old format of the previous time. And he now started worshipping God Amen, jinke pehle temples ko destroy karwa diya gaya tha in the old ways. However, he died mysteriously. And unfortunately, we don't know how he died, but he died mysteriously. When Tut's mummified body was discovered. In our previous lectures, guys, I have already told you that what was the reason of mummification. So, ye bola jata tha in Egypt that these pharaohs, these kings, and in fact, not in Egypt, rather everywhere in the world, these um, rulers, they used to call themselves as the messenger of God. Right? Kinko God ne sidha beja hai to help the mankind. In the same way, Egyptians have this concept of mummification. Jaha pe, once the king is being dead, he's being declared dead, uh, dead. So now, waha pe, unka jo tomb hota hai, wo banaya jata tha. You know, those pyramids, right? They used to frame those pyramids. And uh, in fact, I also told you in our special class and here on YouTube also, that uh, agar koi bhi king ka, uh, you know, prince born hua karta tha. So, usi time pe, wo log, us prince ke liye, you know, uski death ke baad, usko kaise bari kiya jayega, wo pura process start ho jaya karta tha. Now, suppose KJ, if a born, if, uh, if a prince is being born today, so aad se hi, uske, uh, you know, bari kaise kiya jayega, kaise tomb mein bari hoga, wo pura ka pura tomb banaya jata tha, wo pura pyramid banaya jata tha. Right? Up now, imagine KJ, for example, with Tut, so now, jab Tut ki death ho gai, when he was a teenager, so uske baad unko exact 60 days milte the to complete their work of making that tomb. Clear? Or us wali 60 days mein, there is lots and lots of, uh, you know, changes which were being made to the body. Or us pore process ko bolte hai mummification, jahan pe unko white us mein wrap, uh, I mean, uh, you know, they used to being wrapped in that white uh, fabric, which is which, which was used to be made of uh, linen, right? Or uh, uh, kaise body anatomy, jo priest jana karte the, so waha se kaise lungs and the other parts used to be digged out from the body, kyunki wo stale ho jate the, wo sar jate the. So they used to take them out. So this whole process is being called as mummification. When Tut's mummified body was discovered, he was laid with lots of gold, wealth and everyday items like a bronze, bronze razor, games, clothes, cases of food and wine. So again, he was a teenager, right, when he died. So uski body ke saath, Tut ki body ke saath, there was a bronze razor. You know, like how teenager boys, they get those tiny little beard and moustache, right? So just to clear it out, they kept a bronze razor. Along with that, again, he was a teenager. Certain games were also being kept with him. His clothes, his cases of food and wine was also being buried with his own body. Carter discovered him after searching for many years. So finally, in the year, again, 1922 May, his body was being discovered by Howard Carter. After researching on the treasure, so first of all, he researched on these treasures, jitna bhi gold, bronze, silver, bari kiya gaya tha, he decided to investigate his three nested coffins. Or tut ki body ko kaise rakha gaya tha? It was being covered in three coffins. Right? Shroud, uh, shroud, uh, you remember? Uh, jab kisi ki bhi death hoti hai, so uske upar white fabric, white kapda dal diya jata hai. So that is called as shroud. Right? So, body ko shroud mein bhi cover karte the. But, sab se last wale coffin mein hoti thi body ya fir mummy aur unse upar wale jo coffins hoti the, uske andar baaki cheeze rakhi jati thi. 
विच इज बींग बिलीव कि जब ये जो किंग है जब ये हेवन में जाएंगे तो इनको इन सब चीजों की जरूरत पड़ेगी राइट सो दैट इज वाई दूस टू कीप दैम दीस यूज टू कीप सच थिंग्स विद द कॉफिन और विद द मम्मी सम पार्ट ऑफ द टर्ड ट्रेजर इन द टूम वर ऑलरेडी लूटेड एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली जितनी कुछ कुछ पार्ट जो कि टर्ड की बॉडी के साथ निकाला गया था वो ऑलरेडी पीपल हैव आई मीन ऑब्वियसली देर वॉज अफ्ट Uh, there was a uh, there was uh, there was some sort of loot which took place and that is how the few important parts were being uh, the few important treasures were also being removed from there his tomb was rock cut 26 feet underground so now jab uska tomb nikala gaya uh, the you know uh, jab wo tomb because it was being there in egypt right so now there is lots and lots of sand so it was being buried 26 feet underground which had wall paintings aur jab usko nikala gaya so everywhere around there were beautiful wall carvings on there on the outer coffin tut's face was gilded so now tut ka jo face tha uska exact replica was being made on the first coffin right in the first coffin he found the garlands of olives lotus petals and cornflowers और ये सब चीजें क्या डिस्क्राइब करती है दैट लॉस्ट हिज लॉस्ट हिज लाइफ इन द टाइम ऑफ पर यू नो मार्च और अप्रैल बिकॉज इस वाले टाइम पे ही ये सब चीजें अवेलेबल होती है राइट right? जो मौसम होता है उसी के अकॉर्डिंग वो लोग वहां पे वो चीजें उसके श्राउट पे ड्रॉ किया जाता था एम्ब्रॉयडरी की जाती थी या फिर उन चीजों के गॉलेंस यू अंडरस्टैंड वो माला बना के दे यूज टू की So, जब वो बॉडी निकाली गई तब इन लोगों ने देखा कि ऑलिज लोटस पेटल्स और कॉर्नफ्लावर वहां पे थे सो दैट मीन्स टट की जब बॉडी बरी की गई सो दैट वॉज अ टाइम ऑफ मार्च और अप्रैल इट शोड दैट ही वॉज मरीड इन द मंथ ऑफ मार्च और अप्रैल द थर्ड एंड फाइनल कॉफिन कॉफिन पुट कार्टर इन टू ट्रबल द रेज यूज टू सीमेंट टट टू द बॉटम ऑफ द सॉलिड गोल्ड कॉफिन वॉज हार्ड एंड इनफ मेकिंग इट इम्पॉसिबल टू मूव Now another important thing, guys, that जब तट की बॉडी को रैप किया जाता था इनफैक्ट किसी भी फेरोआ की बॉडी को जब रैप किया जाता था उस व्हाइट लिन के अंदर सो वहां पर क्या यूज ओके अभी तो वी हैव गॉट फेविकॉल राइट उस वाले टाइम पे कोई एक स्टिकी मटीरियल रिक्वायर्ड होता था जिससे कि वो पूरा का पूरे मम्मी को एकदम टाइटली रैप कर सके राइट सो वो लोग यूज किया करते थे रेजन्स I repeat, they used to use raisins. Now, वो लोग raisins को melt करके और वहाँ पे layer लगाया करते थे, and that is how they used to use that particular fabric to cover it up. Now, जब ये लोग ने touch की body को देखा और वो coffin में से वो और that coffin was made up of gold. Imagine that huge coffin was made up of gold. और अब जब वो touch की body को वहाँ से निकाल रहे हैं, they are unable to do that. Why? Because coffin से टट की बॉडी इज बींग इज बींग यू नो एंटैक्ट बाय रेजन और रेजन क्या है वो रेजन uh, इतना ज्यादा थिक हो चुका था इट लुक लाइक सीमेंट कि वो उस बॉडी को अब वहां से पुल नहीं कर पा रहे थे वो उससे स्टिक हो चुकी थी He put the coffin in the sun for several hours in hope for the raisin to loosen up, but it didn't work. So now what did they decide? That let's just keep this coffin. Out in the sun again. It's Egypt, guys. It is the most, 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 most hottest place, isn't it? So now they decided that the sun's rays will be used. The rays will go into melt, and from that, the body automatically we can take it out. Finally, he removed the rays with the help of chisel and hammer. So finally, the sun's rays did not melt the rays, and the rays did not melt the rays. और इन लोगों ने फाइनली डिसाइड किया कार्टर एंड हिस्स टीम दैट दे विल गोइंग टू चिजल एंड हैमर चिजल यू अंडरस्टैंड वी यूज नेल एंड वी यूज अ हैमर टू डिग आउट थिंग्स राइट सो दैट इज व्हाट दे डिसाइडेड उन्हें बॉडी को चिजल करना स्टार्ट किया खुरेदना स्टार्ट किया सो दैट दे कैन डिग आउट द बॉडी फ्रॉम द कॉफन इट सेल्फ कार्टर फेल्ड ही डेंट हैव एनी अदर चॉइस एज टू इफ ही हैड एन कट द मम्मी फ्रॉम लिम टू लिम Thieves would have looted the gold. So now Carter decided कि अगर हमने body के साथ ऐसा नहीं किया, so जो thieves होंगे, ये लोग वहाँ से सारे का सारा gold they will going to take with them. 
so that is why he decided to chisel the body or gold where was the gold that coffin itself was made up of gold so he was thinking ki na jo thieves honge they will going to remove every part of uh, tut to get that coffin uh, which is which was made of gold so rather he decided let let just chisel the body hum body ko thoda sa you know uh, let just use hammer and nail and let just separate the body from the coffin his men first removed his head then they cut off every joint after removing the body parts they placed it on the layer of sand in a wooden box and put it at the original place so that is how they performed this whole function in 1968 the mummy was x-rayed by an anatomy professor reveal few facts his breast bone and front ribs were missing so finally 1968 ke andar tut ki body ko log ne examine kiya uski body x-ray hoti hai anatomy ka matlab kya hota hai bachcha the one person who understands the functioning of the body he is not a physician but anatomy matlab uh, you don't need to be a doctor to understand it it's another set of a study which is required right so which understands ki where is the liver where is you know the other parts of the body so this particular jab tut ki body ko examine kiya gaya x-ray hui tab pata chala that unfortunately his breast bone and the front ribs were missing now later on january 5 2009 tut was taken for ct which is computed tomography scan which takes hundreds of x rays and creates a three dimensional image so finally they have taken tut's body again tut ki body first time kab discover hui thi in the year 1922 so exactly after 80 years it's now 2009 और अब उसकी बॉडी को सीटी स्कैन किया जा रहा है एंड हंड्रेड्स एंड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ एक्स रेज वर बी मेड द नाइट ऑफ द स्कैन द वर्कमैन कैरीड हिज बॉडी फ्रॉम टूम इन अ बॉक्स सो जब ये फाइनली दिस मोमेंट वाज राइट हियर द वर्कमैन टुक हिज बॉडी इन अ बॉक्स सो दे दे हैड अ बॉक्स और उन्होंने उसके अंदर टच की बॉडी को ले जाकर दे वर ट्राइंग टू यू नो यूज इट फॉर द स्कैनिंग they climbed ramp and stairs and lifted in on a hydraulic trailer that led the scanner so wo log scanner ki taraf us body ko le jaane lage the scanner stopped working which paused the procedure aur jab ye log aisa kar rahe the so finally scanner ne kaam karna band kar diya and the whole procedure was unfortunately stopped after using a pair of spare fans the scan was finally done so finally they had got some spare fans jo scanning ke liye kaam mein aate hain they used it and um, yeah that's how the scanning was done after 3 hours his body was taken back to his tomb where his body is resting in peace so finally his uh, body was being taken to the tomb again and now where it was lying in peace so Yeah, that was all about the chapter, guys. Any doubts till now? Any questions we have related to the chapter? Okay, so I hope uh, everything is sorted. Yeah. Okay, so now it's time to check out the character sketch. So the first character of the story is Howard Carter. Who was Howard Carter? He was an English archaeologist. and egyptologist who becomes who became famous okay who became famous all over the world after discovering the intact tomb of 18th dynasty pharaoh tutankhamun king tut so howard carter ne kya kiya tha that in the year uh, 1922 he discovered the tomb of tutankhamun that is king tut uh, carter was innovative and scientific in improving the methods of copying tomb decoration at the age of 17 in 1899 carter was appointed to the position of chief inspector of the egyptian antiquity services he supervised a number of evacuations at thebes so that is not so important this is the extra information if you want you can use it next is king tut that is the next important character of our story so king tut whose actual official name was tutankhamun was the 11th century 11th pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of egyptian of ancient egypt 
so he was the 11th king pharaoh means king of 18th dynasty he was made famous to due to the discovery of his completely intact tomb by the british archaeologist howard carter in 1922 so perhaps he had lost his name but fir se you know how he he became famous after his death because his uh, hidden tomb was being discovered by this british archaeologist whose name was howard carter that was a teen aged heir to the royal throne of egypt the family had ruled egypt for centuries but that died young so his family altogether ruled for almost centuries but unfortunately that died at a very young age he was the last of the family line his father or the grandfather amenhotep 3 was a powerful pharaoh who ruled for almost 40 long years so though it is not being clear that amenhotep 3 was his father or was his grandfather but that ruler ruled for 40 long years his son amenhotep 4 succeeded him but he shocked the country by attacking amen again guys amenhotep 4 ko aap kaise yaad rakh sakte ho keep recalling aurangzeb of uh, your mogal empire how he has brought the shame on the whole mogal dynasty right so in the same way amenhotep 4 has brought the shame to his own family name and to his own country he is the one who attacked amen a major god smashing his imaging images he demolished his images and closing all the temples his family had ruled for centuries before the boy king tut ruled for 9 years and then died unexpectedly egyptians believed that they could take their riches with them king tut was lavished with glittering goods precious collar inlaid necklaces and bracelets rings amulets amulets maine aapko kafi bar bataya tha amulets are basically those um, hame jo thread band diye jate the haath pe ya fir uh, you know in um, जिसे हम मोली बोलते हैं या फिर इन मुस्लिम बेसिकली कॉल्ड इज एम्यूलेट जो कि हमें बोला जाता है कि बुरी नजर से बचाते हैं सो दे हैव गॉट दी एम्यूलेट ऑल्सो एंड दीज थिंग्स वर बींग बरीड विद किंग टच अ सेरेमोनियल एप्रिन सैंडल्स शीट्स फॉर हिज फिंगर्स एंड टोस एंड एन आइकॉनिक इनर कॉफिन एंड मास्क ऑल ऑफ प्योर गोल्ड एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स यूज टू बी ऑफ प्योर गोल्ड In 1922, Howard Carter, a British archaeologist, discovered Tut's tomb after years of futile searching. So, this archaeologist was looking, was searching for the tomb of Tut, and finally, he discovered that in the year 1922. Its contents remain the richest royal collection ever found and have become part of the pharaoh legend. और जितनी चीज है जब तट की बॉडी को निकालते टाइम जितना सब गोल्ड मिला दैट इज बीइंग कंसीडर्ड एज द रिचेस्ट रॉयल कलेक्शन इतना ज्यादा सामान यू नो एंड हैज नेवर बीन डिस्कवर्ड विद एनी ऑफ द अदर फेरोज टट्स बॉडी वाज आल्सो बरीड विद एवरीडे थिंग्स ही वुड वांट इन आफ्टर लाइफ and the people of इजिप्ट दे यूज टू बिलीव दैट आर किंग्स विल बी इन नीड ऑफ यू नो द बेसिक थिंग्स of their lives in after life also so they kept those things like board games a bronze razor linen undergarments cases of food and wine so all these things were being kept with the body as well so now do we have any questions related to this chapter till now because once we will going to begin with these ncert questions the next thing will be the quiz so if you have any doubts you can ask me right now because once the ncert questions will be done the quiz will be right there and i want all of you to uh, attempt those answer pretty carefully right so uh, if you have any doubts i can answer them no okay first question is give reasons for the following right King Tut's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny. Scrutiny means critical examination. King Tut's body has been subjected to repeated scrutiny because right from the time of the discovery of his tomb in 1920 by Howard Carter, the modern world has been curious to find out what happened to King Tut. 
सो एवरीबडी इज क्यूरियस यू नो एवरीबडी वॉन्टेड टू नो और हर बार किंग टच की बॉडी को बहुत ज्यादा क्रिटिकली एग्जामिन किया जाता था सो क्वेश्चन इज लाइक वाई वॉट इज द रीजन टू डू दैट सो दैट इज वाई बिकॉज ही डाइड एट अ वेरी यंग एज सो दिस इज द रीजन दैट वाई हिज यू नो वेन हिज वेन हिज टूम वॉज बींग डिस्कवर इट वॉज अ वेरी रिमार्केबल मोमेंट he died unexpectedly no one knows how the boy king lived and died his death has been obscured in mystery with murder being the most extreme possibility so everybody was you know they were all were making the wild guesses that he is being uh, murdered so that is why you know like uh, curiosity kills the cat so that is why they so badly wanted to know and when his uh, tomb was being found out people were, people were really excited second is howard carter's investigation was resented howard carter's investigation was resented because he destroyed the original state of the mummy resented means it was being stopped why because he actually uh, the original state of mummy was ki wo wahan pe us uh, uh, raisin se wo body attach ho chuki thi with the uh, gold coffin to usne usko chisel karna start kar diya tha and that is how the whole body was being destroyed his man cut off the mummy's head and severed every major joint of the body to raise king tut from the coffin aur jo carter ke jo men the unhone obviously the, the way i told you ki unne puri body ko chisel karke uske you know like individually they have uh, taken out the head they have taken out the other joints of the body aur unhone usko us tarike se coffin se nikala tha then they reassembled the remains on a layer of sand in a wooden box and put the body back so finally inhone fir se jab they have done with their own investigation so finally unhone body ko fir se reassemble kiya aur ek wooden box mein rakha aur inhone jo body ke bache hue part the usko mitti ke andar they have kept it there right moreover howard carter did not use scientific methods while excavating king tut's mummy and unfortunately howard carter ne koi bhi scientific methods use nahi kiye the excavating means taking out the king's body right unne to simply chisel karna start kar diya tha it resulted in great damage to the mummy and that unfortunately damaged the whole look of the mummy third question is howard carter had to chisel away the solidified raisins to raise the king's remains now raisins you already know purane zamane ka kind of a fevicol right jo ki jis ki wajah se jo puri body thi wo ekdam uh, you know it has got stuck to the coffin right wo ekdam solidify ho gaya tha i mean guys imagine you know the plaster of paris jo pop hota hai wo kitna solid ho jata hai na once we in fact for that matter cement right cement also gets very solidified so that is how a raisin is kind of a fevicol jisse ki puri ki puri body ke upar wo white uh, linen ka cloth wo shroud bhi dala jata tha right so um, yeah it is how it carter had to chisel away the solidified raisins to raise the king's remain because the ritual raisins had hardened cementing king tut to the bottom of his solid gold coffin permanently so unfortunately jo king tut ki body thi aur wo cement ka jo uh, coffin tha usse ekdam chipak chuki thi so right just to take it out he was supposed to chisel it away king tut yeah it's a type of gum that's why i'm saying aur wo direct tree se extract hota hai ankit jaise ki uh, you know like tree se if you have checked out those white that white kind of a liquid comes out no so raisin bhi wahi se the gum is being taken out and that is how they have used it to um, cover up the whole mummy king tut's body was buried along with gilded treasures so this is something that is for sure right there king tut's body was buried yeah uh, along with gilded treasures because in that time the king was very wealthy and people thought and hoped that they could take their riches with them in their journey after life uh, it is not mandatory neem tree bachcha it is not it can be any of those trees right which is obviously found out there in egypt i have since it doubts ki neem trees egypt mein hote honge but whatever the tree was usko extract karke uska raisin nikal ke and that's how they used to use it 
ओके सो नाउ इजिप्ट के लोगों को लगता था दैट वंस द किंग विल गोइंग टू डाई सो वहां पे उनके साथ उनकी जितनी भी रिचेस है दे कैन आल्सो ट्रैवल विद देम एंड दैट इज व्हाई दे यूज्ड टू कीप देम विद द डेड बॉडी हेंस किंग टट वाज बरीड विद ऑल द थिंग्स दैट ही यूज्ड इन हिज डेली लाइफ एंड द थिंग्स दैट ही वुड नीड इन द आफ्टर लाइफ या ओके द बॉय किंग चेंज्ड his name from tutan khatun to tutan khamun and what is the reason behind that the boy changed his name from tutan khatun to tutan khamun because he wanted to restore the old ways and what was the reason what what exactly he wanted to restore jitna sab destruction amenotaph four ne kiya tha so he wanted to revive it right amenotaph four had shocked the country by attacking a major god amen It was a time of unrest. The boy tried to establish the old faith by renaming himself as Tutankhamun, which means living image of Amun. Yeah. Okay. List the deeds. Yeah. List the deeds that Ray Johnson to describe Akintan as wacky. And wacky is a term which is being used for Akintan. Yeah. Ray Johnson and Wacky, somebody who is weird, who is pretty pathetic, who is bad. Yeah, Ray Johnson described Akintan as Wacky because what he did was nothing less than crazy in those times. Obviously, उसने वहाँ पे temples को attack कर दिया था, उसने demolish कर दिए थे temples को, and he actually removed the capital of the city, which was Thebes, to some other capital. and he uh, and he actually uh, dismantled the idols the uh, portraits of gods as well he promoted the worship of aten the sun disk changes changed his own name and moved the religious capital from the old city of thebes to the new city of akintan now known as amana so at the present time in the present scenario this place is called as amama amana it is now Uh, he further shocked the country by attacking a major god Amun by smashing his images and closing his temples. His reign was a horrible time. Reign means who was ruling at that particular time. So that was considered as a very horrific moment for obviously Egyptians. What were the results of the CT scan? King Tut's mummy was the first one that was being scanned. Okay, so like uh, you know, he was the first one to die. In the same way, after his death, also his body, his mummy, was the first one which which was supposed to be scanned. The CT scan machine scanned the mummy from head to toe and created seventeen hundred digital X-ray images in cross section. King Tut's head was scanned. Uh, okay, this is not so important, so we can leave that because lots of irrelevant information, which is not so important from your exam point of view, is right here. So we can leave that. Ah, uh, this is also not so important, so we can leave that. Explain the statement. Hmm. Okay. It says explain the statement. King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned in death as in life. Okay. I just told you that he died at a very young age, right? Or जब death हुई, so जब CT scan की कब की बारे में बात आई, so his mummy was the first one to go into that scanning. King Tut was the last ruler of a powerful family that had ruled Egypt for centuries. He came to the throne when he was not even a teenager. At a very young age, he contributed tremendously. in restoring the past glory and old ways however he met a very early death in mysterious circumstances when he was simply 18 years old since the discovery of his tomb in 1922 the modern world was has speculated a lot about that so how he died at a very young age so who you know when he was there in fact who death ke time pe bhi he was the first one first one means obviously teenage is not a perfect age for somebody to die right so he was the first one and in the same way when it comes to ct scanning also he was the first one to move into that yeah so that was all about our beautiful chapter now it's time to quickly check out the quiz so i hope already 
ईच वन ऑफ यू बिकॉज हम बहुत दिनों से ये ट्राई कर रहे हैं दैट हाउ यू ऑल हैव टू परफॉर्म द क्विज राइट सो दैट इजी आपको कैसे आंसर करना है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू थिंक दैट द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर फर्स्ट इज ए so that is how you will going to write one a if you think for second it is c so that is how you will going to write clear so are we uh, like shall we begin with the quiz hey nayan a uh, short summary is se bhi zyada we will going to do it sometime later because abhi thoda detailed summary kar rahe hain when exams will be closer we will going to cover up only the important points from there This is a time wherein we can actually analyze the whole chapter no so that's what we are doing yeah okay the first question is who was tutankhamun a geologist a scientist an egyptian king or a historian come on answer this question Nayan is going with C option. Perfect. What about the rest of you? Sujal is also going with the C. Nidhi, Ankit, perfect guys. Perfect. Yeah. And that is indeed entrepreneur is also fine with C. That is he was an Egyptian king. Perfect guys. Perfect. Here goes the second question. Okay. Ayush is also going with one C. Uh huh. That's right. Here goes the second question on your screen. When did Tut die when he was a teenager, when he was old, when he was in middle age, or when he was a child. Come on, what do you think? What like at exactly what age did he lose his life? Uh, Nidhi is going with the second A when he was a teenager. Nayan is with A. Hey, Nayan, I would request that kindly mention the question number as well. That is how you need to answer this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ayush, Ankit, entrepreneur, Soumya, Sujal, perfect guys, perfect. That is when he was simply a teenager. Ah, uh, Soumya, we are done with first. We are also done with second as well. Yeah. Okay. Third question is who discovered Tut's tomb and when? Right. So who and I have been telling you about this here multiple times. So I am expecting the correct answer here. The first option is Adam Cooper in 1901, Howard Carter in 1922, Howard Carter in 1930, Sam Shaw in 1890. Ah, uh, Nidhi, Sujal, Ankit, entrepreneur. Okay, right. Um, the rest of you. Nayan is no Nayan. That is not at all Adam Cooper. It is supposed to be Howard Carter, and the year itself was 1922. Yeah, that was 1922. Keep this in mind because first time Tut ka body tough find kya gaya tha, and exactly 80 years baad uska CT scan hua tha. Yeah, so that's incorrect, Nayan. Okay, fourth question: When was Tut's body was taken <clears throat> for CT scan after being found? I just gave you the answer. And uh, okay, yeah, are you sure also right? Here's the four fourth question though. After one years, after eighty years, after fifty years, or after thirty years? Yeah. Okay, entrepreneur Nidhi. Hey, entrepreneur, your answer is incorrect, Bacha. It wasn't fifty years. Just now I told you. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that is okay. Nayan, again, your answer is incorrect, Bacha. It is after eighty years, right? First of all, the body was discovered in nineteen twenty-two. उसके बाद 80 इयर्स बाद फिर से वो बॉडी निकाली गई थी सो दैट इज डेफिनेटली 80 इयर्स लेटर या कूल ओके फॉर हाउ मेनी इयर्स डिड एमिनोटैप 3 रूल इजिप्ट फॉर हाउ मेनी इयर्स या ओके आयुष नाउ हियर्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर हाउ मेनी इयर्स डिड एमिनोटैप 3 रूल इजिप्ट फॉर 5 इयर्स फॉर 20 इयर्स Nayan and actually you have attended this class pretty late because abhi humne pura ka pura chapter revise kiya tha and I hope I mean you can check the same session again if you feel like and that is why I discuss every corner of the you know the topic because abhi ham log ke pas kafi time hai and uh, we'll have no time post it guys we are on question five Ankit 
entrepreneur and sujal you are um, unfortunately wrong yeah anybody who knows the correct answer and that is basically 40 long years it was 40 years okay here goes the next question okay question number 6 it is who promoted the worship of aten the sun disk tutankhamun amenhotep 3 amenhotep 4 or none of the above what do you think oh yes oh yes nidhi and ankit that was d that was d okay what about this question bachcha who promoted the worship of aten um oh, oh oh ankit no ankit no 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 it is about aten 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 bachcha aten yeah that is all right that is amnotap 4 perfect guys perfect what name did amnotap 4 change to so he changed his name no ankit that is again wrong bachcha sujal that's the correct answer hey it is amnotap 4 not 3 3 to shayad grandfather ya father the na that is fourth yeah okay question number 7 is what name did amnotap 4 change to to amarna to atul to atul to ekritan or amnotap 3 nayan is going with 7c okay what about the rest of you nidhi is also going with 7c that's okay let me just uh, you know we'll tell the answer later what about the rest of you guys entrepreneur is also fine with c option okay and 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 okay so yeah sujal ankit everybody perfect that is definitely c for how many years did uh, tutankhamun rule egypt the question is for how many years yes ayush that's the correct one now eighth question is for how many years did tutankhamun rule egypt for 9 years for 11 years for 2 years or for 5 years i myself is eliminating c or d option now you need to choose between a or a or b what to no no i have eliminated that option very good nidhi very good entrepreneur yeah sujal perfect very good ankit yes it is it was for 9 long years he ruled perfect yeah okay okay now now it's fine okay the next question is what was found with tutankhamun's body so what exactly did they found uh, yes ayush perfect ayush hey something is wrong with your internet kya thode late i am receiving your answers can you please check it out okay it was what was found with tutankhamun's body gold Egyptian gold coin, nothing as such. Gold, wealth, bronze, razor, games. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, clothes, cases of food and wine. Hey, all of you are right. Yes, that was option D. Ah, uh, no, Nayan. Again, it is option D. Yeah, simply not just Egyptian gold coin, but all these things were literally being kept, were buried with his body. What would you describe that? Sorry, oh sorry. How would you describe that tomb? Gold plated, rock cut, wall paintings with gold plate, or a rock cut, twenty six feet underground, which had wall with paintings on it. Very good, Ayush. Now we are on question number ten. I mean, I agree that it was gold plated, but you have to go with the appropriate answer, which is more information reveal kar raha hai aap logo ko. So pick out that particular one. Very good, Ankit. Amazing. That's great. Okay. What about the others? We know the answer. All right. So that is tenth D. uh are you uh, we will surely going to take that as well but uh, first of all i wanted to try out these quizzes because we are done with summary and the character sketch and everything so menti quiz will be there for sure but abhi ke liye this is what we have got but menti ke liye uh, zyada chapters hum log consider karenge what was in the first coffin garlands of olives lotus petals and cornflowers flowers and coins 
गोल्ड वेल्थ ब्रॉन्स लेजर गेम्स क्लोथ केसेस ऑफ फूड एंड वाइन या फिर इट वॉज एम टी इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट कॉफिन गाइज प्लीज 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 कंसिडर दिस क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग फॉर द फर्स्ट कॉफिन दैट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टू कीप इन माइंड फर्स्ट कॉफिन ओके That is incorrect, entrepreneur. They are asking for the first coffin, but sure, no social. That's incorrect again. Nayan, that's the correct answer. That garlands of olives, lotus petals, and cornflowers were right there. Yes, Nidhi, perfect. Why did the third coffin put Carter in trouble? Like, what was the problem with the third coffin? It was empty. The raisins used to cement stuck to the bottom of the solid gold coffin. which was hardened enough the material found inside was already looted ya fir none of the above are you sure also right oh yes perfect guys perfect and that is indeed the correct answer very good man very good impressive all right That is twelve B. That because of raisins, वो पूरा का पूरा solidify हो गया था, and that was actually a troublesome period for Carter. How did Carter remove the raisins? So Carter ने finally raisins कैसे remove किए? With the help of chisel and hammer, with the help of chemicals, with the help of machinery, या फिर with the help of manpower. This is the easiest of the lot. Chis uh, raisins का मैंने आपको meaning बता ही दिया था. Amazing. Ankit answer nahi likha. So points likha chhod diya. Perfect. Yeah, that is 13th A with the help of chisel and hammer. How did Carter cut the body of Tut? First head and then limb. Every leg and then head. First legs, head and then limbs. Limb or head, hand only. So what exactly? Like how exactly he dismantled his body? Where? Oops! No! 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 That's wrong, Nidhi. That's wrong. That's wrong. Uh, that is wrong, guys. First head and then limb. So first of all, the head was being removed, or uske baad the later body parts were being removed. Okay, so that is first fourteenth uh, A. Yeah, fourteenth A. Perfect. Perfect. What did Carter and his men do after cutting down his body? So once they have cut down the body, now what next did they do? They set it for X-ray. They examined them carefully. They placed it on the layer of sand in a wooden box. Yeah, then they clipped photographs. No, 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 no. All of you, okay. Only Ankit is right. Otherwise, all of you, Nayan, Sujal, uh, Ayush, and Nidhi, all of you are incorrect, guys. They put, they place it on the layer of so sand in a wooden box. So, उन्होंने पूरी की पूरी body को sand पे लेटा दिया था, body के parts जो ने chisel किए थे उनको, और उनको फिर उसने wooden box में डाल दिया था, right? So that is the correct answer, which is option C. Very good, Ankit. Yeah, entrepreneur. That's the option. When was the mummy examined in X-ray by anatomy professor? In 1945, in 1986. Yeah, now it's correct, guys. In 1945, in 1986, in 1968. Yeah, for never. Although this question is not so important because it's not year-based question. Ni aayega. Only thing you need to keep in mind is the year 1922 because that was the time when the body was discovered for the very first time. Ah, <clears throat> uh, 16. Very good, Ankit. No. Hey, we are doing 16, Nidhi. No, Ah uh, Nayan, that is incorrect, Bacha. That is incorrect. Yeah, we are doing doing 16, and the correct one is in the year 1968. Right in the nineteen in the year nineteen sixty eight. Okay, what facts were revealed when the mummy was X rayed in nineteen sixty eight? What facts were revealed uh, when the mummy was X rayed in nineteen sixty eight? Yeah, now it's fine, Nidhi. 
his several possessions were missing his hip bone was missing his breast bone and front ribs were missing ya fir his feet bone was missing ये पॉइंट अभी मैंने जब हम लोग हम लोग जब समरी कर रहे थे आई टोल्ड यू गाइस दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट आयुष वी आर ऑन सेवेंटींथ नाउ देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम विद द इंटरनेट आई गेस वेरी गुड अंकित ऑन्टरप्रन्योर नयन वेरी गुड गाइस वेरी गुड येस दैट इज द करेक्ट वन हिज ब्रेस्ट बोन एंड फ्रंट रिब्स वर मिसिंग परफेक्ट वेन वॉज येस आयुष नाउ इट्स ओके आई हैव रिसीव द it on time when was tut's body taken for cd scan in 21st century now it is about 21st century guys agar 1922 mein first time discover hua tha uske exact 80 years baad uska cd scan hua tha so you can calculate it accordingly uh, january 5 2005 january 10 2007 june 9 2001 ya fir february 12 2009 Like somewhere, uske aspas. Very good, Ankit. Very good, entrepreneur. Amazing, 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 Sujal. Yes, that's perfect, guys. January five, two thousand and five. Perfect. What does CD scan stand for? Uh, very good, Nidhi. Amazing, perfect. Here's the next question. CD scan ka full form kya hai? Computed telegraphy, computed tomography scan, uh, scar topology, or for computer technology. Very good, entrepreneur Nidhi. Perfect. Uh huh. That's right, guys. Hey, Ankit, that's incorrect. Entrepreneur, you were right. Why did you delete that message? Ankit, that's incorrect, Bacha. Very good, Nayan Sujal. Perfect, guys. Perfect. That is computed tomography scan. How did the workmen lift the body for the scan? Through the stairs, on a hydraulic trailer, through sliding, or yeah, through lift? What did they exactly use to, uh, you know, let the body go for scanning? चैप्टर अगर ठीक से पढ़ा था सो यू कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी क्लियरली आई एम सो श्योर विद दैट वी आर ऑन ट्वेंटियथ वेरी गुड निधि वाई दिज अ क्वेश्चन मार्क येस यू आर राइट येस 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 Very good, Nayan. Indeed, that is on a hydraulic trailer. Perfect, Bacha. Perfect. Yeah, cool. Ah, uh, entrepreneur is also correct. Sujal is also correct. Very good, guys. Ankit is incorrect because the correct answer is option B, Bacha. Ayush, you are right. Perfect. Okay. Why did the procedure stop in between? Like, what was the reason for this sudden interruption? As spare pen a fan stopped working, as the light went off, as the lift broken, ya fir none of the above. I told you this point pretty clearly. I know this. I have already made a zikr bhi kiya tha iske baare mein. Very good, Sujal. Perfect, bacha. Perfect. Yes, entrepreneur Nidhi. Three of you are really correct with the answer. Very good. That is a spare fan stopped working. Uh, Ayush is okay. Ankit, you are incorrect, Bacha. That is not D. It is a spare fan stopped working. The next question is: When was Tut's body taken back in his tomb after CT scan? So after a day, after three hours, after twelve hours, yeah, fir after five hours. Uh, yeah, Nayan, uh, we are on twenty-two now, Bacha. We are on twenty-two, guys. Hmm. Twenty-two, twenty-two, twenty-two. Come on, answer, 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 answer. Hey, there is some problem, kya? It is after three hours exactly. No, 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 no. Uh, hey, Nidhi, you're correct there. It is definitely after three hours. 
yes ankit entrepreneur two of you are no not after 5 hours but after 3 hours yes sujo you are also correct what is the symmetry of stud called wo jo jahan pe wo tomb tha what that symmetry is called as valley of the kings tuts resting place resting peace your valley of flowers it's the easiest of the whole lot of questions i believe 23 very good nidhi perfect mera bachcha i mean you are right there great effort bachcha great effort 23 hi zaid okay that is 23 a perfect 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 valley of the kings very good yeah 23 b no that's wrong nayan that's wrong okay how did tut die so how did he die it is a mystery due to heart attack due to cancer ya fir during a war like what was the reason why did we lose him is it still a mystery or by any chance he got the heart attack due to cancer ya fir you know he fought a war and in which he somehow mysteriously lost his own life very good very good all of you oh wow that's great it's a mystery perfect guys who said the mummy is in very bad condition because of what very good ayush because of what carter did in 1920s so was that carter himself who said this zahi hawas an anatomy professor ya fir a, a egypt historian who basically said these words um No, okay, twenty-five A. How can Carter himself say this, Bacha? That's A. That's Carter. No, he did not say it. I'm eliminating Carter now. Choose, uh, entrepreneur. No, it was Zahi Hawass who said this, right? It was Zahi Hawass. Yes, Sujal, perfect. Now it's fine. Tut was led to re rest laden with platinum, aluminium, gold, or for silver. No, Bacha, that was Zahi Hawass. Okay, that's the correct answer is Zahi Hawass. Okay, the next question is: Tut was led to rest laden with platinum, go, sorry, aluminium, gold, or for silver. Perfect. This is the easiest of the lot. I think it's the most easy question. Tha. Yeah, that is definitely gold. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, it was gold. When was Tut die? Two twenty two thousand years ago, more than thirty three thousand years ago. Uh, yeah, Nayan, that's correct. More than ten thousand years ago, or for more than sixteen thousand years ago. I mean, uh, you simply can make a wild guess here because I have sincere doubts. आप लोग कोई आंसर पता है या नहीं है? Even I am not sure though. Twenty-seven B. Oh wow, that's right, Ayush. That's right. Perfect. 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 No, no, no. Wait. It is twenty-seven B. All of you knows that. Entrepreneur, you are incorrect. Ankit, you are incorrect. That is more than thirty-three thousand years ago. Yeah. Twenty-eight question. What was Tut lavished with? Gold, silver, flowers, lots of jewels. Yes, I used to know that perfectly well. Glittering goods, precious collars, elaborate necklaces, bracelets, rings, amulets. You know, this point continue. Ho raha hai. There's no another point. A ceremonial apron, sandals, sheets of for his fingers and toes of all made up of pure gold. Yes, Sujal, it is more than three thirty-three thousand. Yes. So, बच्चा but फिर हम यही वाला option choose करें ना more than three three thousand years ago, yeah. Twenty eight is C. Perfect guys, perfect. Yeah, uh, entrepreneur Ankit Ayush, you guys are perfect with this answer. That is definitely C. Okay, here's the twenty ninth question of the day. How has it is? How has archaeology 
exchange through the decades focus is more on treasure focus is more on physical findings focus is more on time factors focusing less on treasure and more on the fascinating details of life and mysterious death so just hey 33000 simply means more than like somewhere there itself right so that is why we have opted that answer yeah okay so for 29 all of us are going with oh wow okay so nidhi ayush ankit entrepreneur perfect guys perfect that they were focusing less on treasure unko ye nahi tha ki there is being treasure but rather they were more fascinated towards this whole idea of life and why somebody died perfect and here goes the last question of the day who is osiris god of nature god of afterlife god of seasons ya fir god of universe and that is the last question for the day very good bachcha nidhi superb what about the others 30th you are confused why it is b very good god of afterlife osiris is basically the god of afterlife jo ki stars ka formation bhi hota hai no nayan that is b god of afterlife right constellation stars ko bhi hum osiris bolte hain so that is basically god of afterlife yeah so i think now this chapter is very clear right we have done with the chapter discovering tut the saga continues so we have done with the three chapters of our hornbill which was portrait of a lady we are not afraid to die if we all will be together another was a poem ma'am for tomorrow thank you ayush thank you so much social for uh, tomorrow we will going to discuss the laburnum top yeah that's the agenda i believe yes laburnum top will be discussed tomorrow that was a beautiful poem which was written by ted hughes right thank you ankit thanks 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 a ton guys so i'll see you tomorrow with another topic so that is how we will going to cover the summary of the chapter the ncert questions will be covered are you timings are 7:30 right 7:30 to jab tak uh, hum log we cover the summary the characters along with that the ncert questions and then a uh, 20 30 questions on based on the chapter so that's the way how this class functions yeah so guys don't you forget to use my code which is ambika and please enroll yourself to an academy and with that i will going to take your leave i hope you genuinely enjoyed the class thank you guys thank you have a nice time ahead and see you tomorrow with another topic yeah and keep on studying and if you haven't downloaded the app do download it and use my code which is ambika a m b i k a right with that i am going to take your leave do take care of yourself bye bye